Hi everybody. Um, I bought the one piece compression swimsuit from Underworks. So I'm going to do a little review. Um, if my room looks different, it's because I'm not in my room, my uh, apartment right now. Um, I'm actually living in the my university's resident hall. Um, it's part of my the orientation program that I worked for. Uh, that's my roommate's side, and she's not here this weekend, so I figured doing a review, you know, would be the best thing. Um, so I'm going to get changed, and then I'll talk about it, I guess, so. Also, before I continue, I felt the need to explain that um, I do identify as a genderqueer uh, trans boy. Um, I don't identify as a trans man. I don't identify as um, FTM. I am a genderqueer trans boy. Um, I prefer they and them and he and him pronouns. Um, with the pronouns, they are situational, but um, I really do prefer they and them most times. And I just wanted to put that in there before I continue with this review because that's important in the internet. Uh, not to have a review. And we're back. Okay, so I put it on. Um, it's pretty nice, honestly. Like, it's super tight. Um, I'm not really used to having something this tight, like, as far as a swimsuit. Um, I did get the one with the blue side because I thought that would look more like uh, a wetsuit um, rather than just the whole black one because that would make it feel more like a layer tight, I think. And you don't go to the beach with that. Um, but it doesn't do much as far as the hips. Um, I'm used to the compression vest that goes all the way down from underworks that does compress my hips a little bit and gives me more of that straight. Um, body line but um that's probably like one of the only things about this swimsuit that kind of bothers me um there's a lot of room uh in the crotch area I don't know if you can tell like this seam right here um if I had my packer with me I would put it in um I most likely will be using it when I do go swimming um just because it will you know help I guess with trying to pass which is kind of an annoying thing to try and do and it's a stupid concept but you do what you have to do I guess to survive um as far as the compression for my chest um well that was weird it's, it works pretty well um you know you just have to pull it over and stuff and so it's pretty flat like it fits probably um I would associate it with the way an old binder would fit, um, like something you've worn for a couple of months, maybe like four to five months. Um, uh, it reminds me of my like workout binders um, that I like, they're my usually old binders and stuff. Um, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. It does have the zipper in the front, which is nice um, accessory, I guess, to it, because I think it really does make it look like a wetsuit. And I think it kind of helps, um, I guess, show that uh I don't know, I feel like it distracts in the chest. I don't I don't know. I like it. I really like this the way the zipper um is placed. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like the blue. Um it might just be because it makes me feel like a race car or something. I'm not sure. Maybe I can swim really fast. I don't know. <laughs> but um other than that it works pretty well. It goes high up here, um, which is nice. So you don't have quite the kind of like back boob thing. Um, I don't know, I really like it honestly. Uh, for the legs, um, they're really tight. It's really, really tight. Um, it takes a while to kind of like pull them over my thighs because my thighs are a little bit big. Um, but it compresses them a lot. Like I, like I love the way my thighs look in this. Um, and it's just weird because it's so, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm so used to looser clothing, I think, or like just wearing like work, regular clothes, like jeans and stuff, that having something this tight around my legs and then still being able to move is a really strange sensation, um, but I really enjoy it actually. So, um, I don't like the fact that it kind of like squeezes like all of my like jiggle jaggle fat like into like one spot on my stomach. Um, I guess that is more like masculine to have it on your stomach, but like with the hips, it kind of um, causes more of this morphia than me than anything else. 
but the rest of the swimsuit makes me feel so good that I don't think it'll bother me, hopefully. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Like, I don't know, I feel like kind of like a sausage in here. Um, like, it definitely like squeezes your gut, like here. I'm definitely used to having it like a little bit more in. It definitely squeezes like more fat towards here. Um, I don't really have a butt, so I can't really comment on it. It's really tight. I imagine if you had a wider, like a little bit bigger butt, um, it'd be snugger. Um, I just have a stomach with a really flat butt. But um, I really wanted to do this with you because uh, I had been trying to find one before I bought this swimsuit because um, I didn't like the idea of having a two-piece, like having the compression shorts and the compression top swimsuit. It didn't make sense to me. Um, because why would you get a two-piece that looks like a, like a wetsuit and not just get the actual wetsuit size? Um, and from what I can tell from the videos I've watched, the chest is doing the same thing as their compression tops. Um, so I'm not really too concerned. I mean, could it be flatter? Yes. I think the most, like, the thing that, like, maybe with this chest that I think could be improved is maybe, like, tightness around this part right here. Um, I do feel it gives away some of the shape of the chest. Uh, but I think when you're active and you're swimming in water, it doesn't really matter. Um, especially if you're with people who know you. Um, on the beach, obviously, if you're with, there's like a whole bunch of strangers around you, no one's going to really talk to you. Um, at least hopefully. And if they do, you can, uh, I recommend just telling them to fuck off. Uh, if you're, um, okay with doing that, obviously. Uh, but always, you know, keep me friends around. Uh, unless you like going to the beach by yourself, which kudos to you. Um, I can't do that because I would forget to put on sunscreen and burn. Um, but yeah, I guess that's not my review. I guess I would give this like, um, out of 10, I guess, 10 stars. I would give this probably like a seven to an eight. Like it's actually pretty great. I really do enjoy it. I feel like I'm really actually excited to go swimming this summer now because of it. Um, cause I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do cause I don't like wearing my normal binders to go swimming because I know it is really dangerous. Um, and I don't like uh, swim trunks, um, especially because every swim trunk recently has the netting in it and that causes like weird chafing. I don't like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I should say about this. I guess I'll give you one more like body view. Um, and then uh, if you have any questions at all about it, um, you can talk to me via my Tumblr. Um, and, you know, we can talk about it and I can tell you more specific details if you need anything else. So let's give you another body shot. Okay. Let's <laughs> see. I mean, it's pretty straight, honestly. Like, hips hopefully will go away once I'm on in the next couple weeks. So we'll see. I think it makes my butt look better than what it usually does. Um, oh, I guess this should be a good thing. I should tell, talk about this. Move my computer back over here. Um, I uh, I'll probably edit this into the first part, honestly. Um, I am a size large in most of the Underworks products. Um, I have a last time I actually wore a bra, which is probably about three years ago, or maybe two years, who knows how long it's been. Um, I was in like a triple D, like a 36 or a 38, I think. Um, I've lost weight since then. Uh, I'm still probably at a triple or a double D at this point. Um, still a pretty uh, large width band, probably about a, 20, a 34 or 32. Um, I don't know, I haven't worn a bra in forever uh we were to do it now but um this is a large size um with a zipper it what you do have to pull it and like hold it together and then zip it up um but it goes pretty smoothly it's just like you can't just like zoop you have to like hold together pull up which i think is probably a thing you can do with, you do with like a normal wetsuit anyways um so i'm not really bothered by it at all um yeah uh, 
I think that's all I really need to say. I don't know if there's anything else. Um, the video's already kind of going a little bit long. Uh, if, once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and message me on Tumblr. Um, I'll provide like the link in the little doo-doo-doo. And uh, I'll be posting this on my Tumblr itself. Um, yeah. Awesome. Uh...